We are Dave and Christine McGuire, founders of Studio McGuire, and we do immersive art. We yeah. came up with sirens because we always wanted to project mermaids into water. And when a brief was about climate change, pollution, flooding, all those mm -hmm. dangers, we thought mermaids would be a perfect vehicle to make that brief come true. Paper, light, and death. The meaning behind Ophelia is the same that it was hundreds of years ago when Shakespeare created the character. Um, Ophelia in Hamlet is a young, innocent woman who drowns herself after she goes mad, and she kind of represents the the destructive consequences of emotional and political turmoil around her. え、元々私はあの、プロダクトデザインをベースにしたアーティストです。え、で、その工学の知識だとか、元々自分が持っている感覚、それを活かして自分のその訴えたいこととかメッセージを、え、具現化して形にしています。で、結果的にそれが作品
It is largely inspired my grandfather. His name is Saburo Higashi. He made a lot of forest in Japan. The reason that he started creating forest is that he experienced World War II. And back then, you know, uh, we lost a lot of nature uh, in Japan. And he thought we need more greens to, you know, feel the peace that uh, after the war, and then you know, since then he created uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, trees uh, everywhere in Japan, and I'm so inspired by it. I think what we need right now is definitely nature. I like using light as my mediums, whether it's projection, LEDs. I like to use you know my imagination and it to 3D using light to you know communicate my ideas. Like as soon as I saw projection mapping for the first time, uh, I was really curious how to make such a thing. And then so I learned 3D modeling using computer. And eventually I kind of ended up combining everything. But there's something really beautiful about it. it's an ever-changing um, state, just like the nature in which I really enjoy creating. My name is Louis de Prando. I'm an artist from Montreal, Canada. My inspiration for Resonances is uh, an older piece that I created, which was called Liminal, which uses an old photographic process called slit scan to show time spread out in space. Um, when you walk inside the arch, you can see your figure being spread out in space and distorted. And if you step out of the arch, then the installation remembers the last people who have entered the arch. So it's like a time portal, but like your memory, it gets distorted, it gets warped, and it rehashes the same memories over and over, but they get um, strange and uh, distorted, which to me is very inspiring. Abandoning yourself to memories. I'm Josh Miller. I'm a college professor and digital artist from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, my collaborator on this piece, Angela Fraley, is a, a painter who teaches at a university in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So the motivation for this piece started with a conversation that I had with Angie, my collaborator. Uh, she paints Victorian landscapes and Victorian flowers. Uh, and my background is in digital art, so we had a discussion about creating a, an online tool, a digital tool, that you could use to input your own message and create these flower bouquets. Uh, I think what's most unique about this is most projection mapping pieces are not interactive and users can participate on their phone. You submit like a, you can submit a secret message to the piece. You can control everything about it. You can use it as many times as you want. Um, and that I think is pretty unique in digital artwork. Hi, I'm Thomas Garnier. I'm a French contemporary and digital artist based in Paris, France. The two artworks I'm showing here are named Strats, which is an older work, and Tautu, which is my latest installation. So in Tautu, we're using a logistics robot that we built for that effect. The 3D printed sculptures and model landscapes are based on automated logistics centers such as those that are used by Amazon or AliExpress, spaces without a human presence. In this case, I wanted to reinforce the sense of an abandoned space by using most of the printed errors to give it a ruined atmosphere. The robot has also at the same time uh, another use, which is it can move and rearrange the sculptures in the space in real time, meaning that the work is never the same and always changing. <laughs> 